Hey y'all, we're just jumping right into this video and I'm starting off by prepping her skin with Milk of Magnesia in the areas that she gets oily with my BH Cosmetics V5 brush. Now using my NYX Brow Powder Pencil in Espresso, I'm just going to lightly fill in her brows. I'm following the same exact brow shape that she has. I'm not trying to create a new shape for her. I'm just following what she already has. And um, I'm going to brush through the hairs while I'm doing this to make sure that it's not too harsh. And I'm going to only use light strokes throughout this whole process because I want to fill in her brows, but I don't want it to be like, too dramatic another thing I can say about filling um, brows in is you want to make the line at the top as straight as possible because I don't really like to clean up the top with concealer anymore because I just find that the eyebrow looks much more natural when you just clean up the bottom And the same thing that I did to her first brow is going to be the same thing that I do to her second. You couldn't see it on the first brow, but what I usually do is extend the brows to meet where the nose starts. And then I start stroking the hairs upwards. It just creates a more natural um, finish. To conceal her brows, I'm using the LA Girl Concealer in Medium Beige and I'm using my Morphe Cosmetics, my Morphe brushes, my bad, brush um, E43 to clean the bottom, carve out the bottom of her brow just so it could be nice and clean. And then I'm going to drag that concealer onto her entire eyelid to act as a primer and it's just going to make the eyeshadow pop more and it's going to give something the eyeshadow to actually stick to. Then I grabbed my Royal N Lang Nickel Domed Eyeshadow Brush to basically um, blend out and smooth out that concealer that I placed on her eyelid earlier. When you saw me using the Morphe brush to drag down the concealer from the very bottom of her brow, that's just to make this blending part easier or else it would have looked like a bulk of eyeshadow, I mean concealer was still sitting under her brow when it shouldn't look like that. So this brush makes it really easy to just smooth out the surface. Using my RCMA No Color Powder and my Morphe 510 brush, um, I'm basically going to set that concealer in place. She had her eyes open, so her eyes creased, the concealer creased. So just make sure that you have your client keep their eyes closed after you smoothen out that concealer before you set it with the powder or else you're just setting creases. You really want to set that powder onto the lid because, um, yeah, you just want to set, the, you ju you just want to press it in onto her lid. This is the Morphe 35O M palette, and this brown color that I'm using as her transition shade is obviously one of my favorites because it's almost gone. And I'm using a Morphe Brushes M532 brush to go ahead and place that color in her crease. Um, notice how she looked at me. That's because I asked her to. So you want to have your client look at you before you place this color in her crease because 
then you can actually see where the crease is and you won't be placing it too high or too low and to blend this out I'm just using windshield wiper motions back and forth back and forth and a mixture of circular motions to make sure that that um, blows out beautifully without me putting it like in the wrong place or too much in the wrong area for the next eye we're doing the same thing have her look at you and then place that color directly in her crease Now I'm going to switch to my Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to use the same palette but just a deeper shade of brown and I'm going to place that also in her crease but I'm not going to blow it out as high as I did the, trans the transition shade. Every time it's time for me to say transition shade, I fuck it up. I don't know why. It's like a tongue twister. Every time you add a new color, go back with your first brush and your first color and make sure that the blend between the two colors are seamless. And we're going to do the same exact thing with the other eye. I used only one eyeshadow palette to create this look so this is the same palette and this is an elf eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to um, place that peachy orangey color directly on her lid. To blend that darker brown color into the orange color, you pick up the same brush that you used before and um, yeah, you go ahead and blend it in. I wanted to brighten the eye a little bit so I'm taking that nudish pinky color in that same palette and using the BH Cosmetics number 12 brush just to put that right over the orange color that I placed before. This liquid liner is from NYX and I don't really know how to explain how to do a wing but one thing I can say is have your client look straight ahead so that you can be able to get the angle from the outer corner of their eye um, to their upper crease almost brow perfectly. After that I don't, I don't really know how to explain how to do a wing liner so I guess you guys could just watch. It took me a while to get wings down and I'm still not perfect at it. Um, I just got to a point where I now don't really have to clean it up with concealer to make it sharp. But don't let it frustrate you like we all go through it. My wings are still messed up on some days. So for her foundation I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in C6 and N7. And I'm using my Instapop cheek brush from Real Techniques to basically um, buff that into her skin. I'm not really buffing actually. I'm really just pressing it and tapping it into her skin so it could look more um, full coverage. You do not want to forget to get under her chin and you do not want to forget to get her neck. Um, also, I didn't notice that the camera didn't catch me, didn't have the, her forehead in the frame. But basically it's the same thing for the forehead, same exact thing, just press it into the forehead. And when you get around the brows, just use a small 
precise blending brush with eyeshadow on it so that you won't really take off any of the work that you did on her brows and this can actually act as um, something to clean the brows since we did not conceal them you can also use this brush like I do to get um, like the inner corners of her eye and the size of her nose for areas like that you just want to use a smaller brush Using the same brush that I used to conceal her brows and using the same concealer, LA Girl in Medium Beige, I am placing that concealer under her eyes, on her chin, above her cupid's bow, down her nose, and on her forehead. I like to blend some Tarte Shape Tape into that as well. And this color is in Tan Sand. And using my beauty blender, I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that concealer out. By the way, I use a really light hand when I do this because there's such thing as over blending and I don't want to do that. And I also don't want it to look patchy or not smooth or uneven. So you kind of just have to um, gauge that while you're blending. I also like to go in with that foundation brush that I used to basically just blend the edges of that concealer so it could all look like, you know, it's coming together as one, not like, oh, here goes the foundation and here goes the concealer. So to contour, I have a black opal foundation stick in hazelnut and I, I have my client suck in their cheeks so I can see that line of indentation because you don't want to contour under that line so I place it there on their forehead following their hairline basically and then I dot it onto their nose and as you all can see I use the back of the same beauty blender to um, blend out the cheekbones and the forehead Using a Royal and Langnickel eyeshader brush, I basically blend that nose contour out by going up and down on her nose and by bringing the contour shade up into the eyebrows and under the eyebrows. Um, yeah, I mean, I use circular motions and up and down motions. I just make sure that I push it up into the brows and make sure that you blend the size of the nose as well. Before setting your client's face, you want to make sure that you smoothen out that um, concealer one more time. And I use the RCMA and Ben Nye Banana Powder Mixed. Use my beauty blender to go ahead and press that into my client's skin. You really, really, really want to press the powder in. Don't just lay it there and let it sit there. Press it in before you let it sit there. And you are putting this powder everywhere where you put that concealer, by the way. So it's under the eyes, the chin, on top of the cupid's bow, the bridge of her nose, and her forehead. And a little trick that I also know is I make my clients press out their laugh lines with their tongues. Because some people's laugh lines are terrible, like mine. So I make them press it out, and then I just basically press powder into that crease.
I like to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powders on my clients because it just looks so like airbrush to me. And this is in the shade Dark with the Morphe M105 brush. And basically what I do is press it into my client's skin and then I start doing circular motions with it. And I put this powder everywhere except for um, where I'm baking at. I'll use it there later but not right now. To set her contour, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark Deep. And I have her sucking her cheeks again and I have a Morphe M405 brush. And I just use circular motions basically to um, deepen that contour up on her cheekbones and on her forehead. Y'all, I'm so mad that I didn't record me. Um, cutting her cheeks but you just use a um, a beauty blender with the same powder mix and you, you you make them suck in their cheeks and that line that they get when they suck in their cheeks is where you cut it at but I'm using a NYX um, blush in Synthetica I believe and I'm using a, a powder brush that I don't think it has a name and I press it onto the cheekbones and then I do circular motions and I even put the excess on her forehead just to give her more color Now you can go ahead and dust away that powder using the same face powder, MAC Mineralized and Dark. And we're also going to dust away um, under her eyes at this point too. And everywhere else that we had the baking powder at. Um, I do not like to use a darker powder to contour the nose. So I'm using the same face powder that I've been using. Using a BH Cosmetics 104 brush. And the same way that I blended it out when it was a cream is the same way I'm going to blend it out as a powder. I'm going to use up and down motions and I'm going to push it up into her brow. I add the powder to the tip of her nose and I also blend out the sides where the um, baking powder is just so it could look like you know seamless like it's coming together how it's supposed to boom new nose who this no plastic surgery baby <laughs> At this point, I'm just blending her whole entire face with that same MAC Mineralized Skin Powder, I mean Skin Finish Powder, and I'm blending everything. I'm just blending everything together, like everything. The part that everybody hates, I use my MAC Fix Plus and I use it, use it. Like, I spray you until you're drenched because this is what makes you look like skin again. This is what makes you look not powdery. So before I apply lashes, I have my clients look down and then I lift their lids and I apply mascara to their lashes. And yeah, I, I, I pop the lashes on using um, 30 second glue. That is a lash, honey. I sell these lashes. Go to at House of Van Co on Instagram if you'd like to buy them. They're called Audrey, by the way. So using any black liner, I went ahead and um, put it on her waterline. And this is a Smashbox palette and just like a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to use that basically to smoke out that black liner a little bit. And after that, I'm going to take small pencil brushes to place the same exact colors that are on her eyes as eyeshadow under her eyes. Just so it could look smoky and flirty. And this is my second time spraying her because I just, the more you spray, the better. To line her lips, I'm using two NYX pencils and I'm sanitizing them with alcohol before I use them. They're in Espresso and they're in London. And before I apply them, I went ahead and moisturized her lips. And now I'm just going to outline her lips and drag the dark brown into the inner corners of her lips before I place the lighter shade in the middle.
be sure to have your clients mix their lips together but not like super aggressively just tell them like kiss your lips together and that'll mix it beautifully um this is a ruby kisses clear gloss and i'm just gonna put that right on top of both of the liners because i just love glossy nude lips i just love them this is the anastasia glow kit and i'm using both of these colors to create her glow this is a bh cosmetics brush but it doesn't have a name and i always spray the brush one time before i go ahead and use circular motions to apply that right on top of the blush color that i use actually i lied the bh cosmetics brush is a 140 brush and to get that highlight in between her eyes and on the tip of her nose i just kind of pinched the brush a little bit and i also put it on her chin i do not like forehead or under eyebrow highlights so i don't put it there this is going to be my final time spraying her face and it's the third time that i'm spraying her face and that'll complete the look i just have her lift her chin so i can make sure i'm getting under the eyes because i don't want her to have a white mask and we're done um i hope you guys learned something from this video this is the final look my model her name is Brittany. she's so beautiful um so grateful for her for being in this video i really enjoyed doing this video i hope i can do some more in the future let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment do all of that bye